Okay, another month is gone. Time for another update video. This is uh, for the September. And, well, let's see from the order of arrivals. We have uh, Kino Lorber box sets. First up is Tony Goethe's collection. 40 pounds of Starbuck. The Great Imposter and the Perfect Furlough. And the second one is a Audie Murphy collection, also from Kino Lorber, with no name on the bullet, Ride the Crooked Trail, and the Duel at Silver Creek. Then we have a film called Bad Manners, also known as a what was it? Growing Pains. I've been looking for this for a long time. I've seen it on VHS long, long time ago. And now, now it's in my Blu-ray collection. Yep. Next, we have a Warner Archive release and they're starting to release uh, sets. This is the horror and thriller set with Innocent Blood, Body Snatchers, Hunger and Wolfen. They also have a noir set, I think. Uh, and it's a very good value for... because on the sales, this, uh, every title is 11 bucks. This set is only 35 all together. Next up, we have uh, Bruce Lee. His greatest hits. My one and only Criterion sale item took two months to arrive, but Finally, it's here. Next, we have a 4K of VFW with slippity slip. Then we have a hot dog to movie. Oh, I love the. 80s comedy and I don't think I've seen this one but gotta check it out next we have uh, another 4k tree from hell was not as good as the devil's rejects but it was good price and got it then we have uh, Indicator releases from UK. And first is, guess who's coming to dinner? Then we have the lady from Shanghai. Experiment in Terror uh, The Effect of Camera Gamma Rays on Man in the Moon Marigolds Damn, that's a mouthful It's a limited edition one Then we have See No Evil. Suddenly Last Summer. And last but not least, we have a couple of 
Paramount releases the Sons of Katie Elder and Vampire in Brooklyn. Sadly, Paramount has not invested in those. There's a shitty echo cases and looks like no extras and well that's it see you next month